This is question 15 from the 2008 calculator paper. Here we're told that triangle A is reflected in the x-axis in the x-axis to give triangle B. So the x-axis here, <coughs> you can see that the x-axis here, triangle A is reflected in that. So let's draw out triangle B. Triangle B will look something like that. So this is our just connecting these points. That gives us triangle B. Now triangle C, it tells us, triangle B is reflected in the line x equals 1. We can see the line x equals 1 there. To give triangle C. So let's reflect this shape into in x equals 1. And this gives us triangle C. Now, the question asks us, the question asks us, describe the single transformation that takes triangle A to triangle C. Well, hopefully what you can see is that this is going to be a rotation. Shape A has been just been rotated around to get to triangle C. So we can say that it is a rotation. <coughs> so that would get us one mark. For a second mark, we would need to say how far it's been rotated. Well, hopefully as well you can see that it's been rotated 180 degrees. It's been rotated a half turn. Now, the last thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we say the where it has been rotated around. What point has it been rotated around? Well, if it's been rotated 180 degrees, that's simply going to be the midpoint between these two points here and here. So, where is that midpoint? That midpoint is going to be just there. So the point at which triangle A has been rotated around 180 degrees is simply the point 1, 0. So it's rotation 180 degrees around the point 1, 0.